Russell Lee is the best-selling horror writer of the True Singapore Ghost Story series, which has sold almost a million copies in Singapore and Malaysia. He recently launched True Singapore Ghost Stories Book 19, which delves into the realm of angels and heaven. We asked Russell Lee what happens when we die, and whether we too can one day become ghosts. Do you believe in the afterlife? Absolutely. What, yeah, I believe. What do you think will happen when you? Pass well, uh, you can uh, read uh, my books. You know, I, I try not to uh, uh, be too specific. You know, so, uh, I'm very sensitive uh, to um, uh, what everybody uh, believes in, and I try to be very general. You know, I, I think that um, you see, you see, by also telling the stories uh, from many quarters. I also give uh, a view, uh, the views, I express the views of my storytellers as well. You know, so I don't uh, think that there is just one answer that you can find in the true Singapore ghost stories, you know. Uh, there is a theory that when you die, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, yeah. that you're supposed to go towards that light. Yeah. But if you don't go to that light immediately you will be stuck in limbo and that you can actually become a ghost I'm sure you've heard that theory right? Yeah I mean um, a lot of the stories are in fact based on the fact that you know if you uh, die a sudden death uh, you uh, you have unfulfilled wishes and therefore a spirit the spirit comes back uh, to sort of settle the scores and to finish the unfinished uh, business you know uh, yeah, m many of the stories, in fact, uh, are based on uh, these uh, uh, suppositions. You know. What about you? Do you think that perhaps when you, when the time has come and you pass away uh, physically, do you want to stick around? Do you want to stick around by avoiding that light? Uh, well, by avoiding the light, I, I don't know. You see, I've heard many stories about the light and what happens uh uh, to those who sort of been there, you know, but um, these are just stories, you know. I, I don't want to push them out as uh, the truth, you know. I don't want to push them as the truth, you know. So I, all I do is merely recount the stories and let my readers then come to their own uh, conclusions about what they think is the truth. You know? Do you think that spirits are adaptable? Uh, in this internet age, do you think that uh, someday we'll have ghosts coming out of the internet or, or traveling Wi-Fi or you know. Well, uh, you know what? Spirits, spirits are just like you and me. You know, uh, technology doesn't really affect their existence. You know, they are they are around. You know, and they will they will use whatever means that uh, are available to them to achieve the objectives that they have. You know, so. Uh, you, I wouldn't be surprised if the computer is used, if handphones are used, you know, and uh, you find them in modern buildings, you know. Yeah, and they are, you know what? They are all around right now as well. If you wouldn't believe it, but they are all around right now. Uh, Can you see ghosts? Uh, I have not seen a ghost as in um, uh, having a third eye, for example, but I've seen manifestations. Uh, of the supernatural, for example, as in when a person is possessed, and then you see, you know, sometimes the person behaving in such a way that it's in, impossible for the person to do while he's in a normal state. Like, for example, a tanki, you know, when he carries a sedan chair, how do you explain him carrying all that weight, you know? And how do you explain someone who uh, becomes in a twink, in a moment, uh, almost like a monkey, you know, prancing around and doing. Um, uh, physical feats that are almost impossible for a man uh, to do under normal circumstances. Yeah, so I've seen evidence evidences of the spiritual um, dimension. Have you ever attempted to see ghosts, uh, either through a seance or or uh, no, some people um, believe that if you rub um, the tears of a dog on your eyes, you'll be able to see yeah. ghosts. Uh, no, I've not, and I would discourage readers from uh, doing that. You see, I uh, I would like readers to lead normal lives. You know, I don't want them to indulge in seances. I don't want them to play with 
uh, tarot cards. You know, I don't want them to do things that would get them into trouble because I believe that the spiritual world is a real world. So I, I constantly warn readers of the dangers that they face should they indulge in these kinds of games. You know? So I warn them of these things. That's it for our Halloween special 2009. We hope to spook you again next year.